SAE is gone, but the folks from Shell, Echo Mobility Conference, have, have taken over here. It's amazing to see the transformation in just a few days of what's happened here at Cobo Hall. It's filled with a uh, test track behind me here. This is a place where they can actually test the vehicles that they brought in from all over the world. We actually talked to a couple of those young engineers who are concerned about the future of ecology, the future of mobility in the world. And this group was from Guatemala. Welcome to Detroit. Thank you. Tell me what you expect to do out of this uh, Shell conference. Well, we want to participate, to get on the track and to win something. We, are, we have been working a lot in this car, so our team is excellent. We want to put our name in top and get a, a good representation here. Well, Guatemala, that's a quite a ways away, uh, Melissa. Now, uh, it took quite a, quite a bit of work to get here with your, your vehicle and everything, right? It's quite a challenge. Right. Uh, our project works with donations. We have some donations from um, some industries in Guatemala. So it, it depends about what what we can uh, what is it, uh, get from them to, to come here. Okay. Well, that, that shows you the kind of support. So do you think, uh, from what you've been able to see so far, there are expanding job opportunities for uh, women in the field of uh, research and automobile engineering. Yeah, I think that women have a lot of potential, so they don't think that it's something for, her, for them, but it's amazing what you can do as a woman in here. And how do you feel about that? Oh, I think we feel like, um, like developed. <laughs> developed and strong, because there is no many women in in the um, Ecomarathon and um, from Guatemala we are four. I think it's great. They got great potential and they've been uh, like helping us with a lot of the work, you know. So yeah, they're doing well, their part. Uh, well I'm so glad you're here. This is great. I'm yeah. Thinking. Me too. Okay, now. Kelsey, you're here all the way from Washington. No, that's correct. That's great. And you're from Granite Falls High School. Okay. Now what in the world are you doing here in Detroit? What's going on here? Um, we're participating in the Shell Eco Marathon, which is a event for students all around the world to build and test fuel efficient eco cars. And so I'm on the Urban Autos, which is a co-ed team. And today we're working on finishing up our body before we are able to um, go through tech inspection. Well, what do we have here behind you? What is this? This is our eco car. Yeah. So it's a tandem two seater, and we're going to be racing it on the streets of Detroit um, Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Well, come over here with me one second, so we can see these. And what are these? What are these uh, teammates doing here? Um, so actually, right now we're working on the body, and so the two gentlemen in the back there um, putting on plates so we can get the other body mounted flesh, and then. Um, the rest of them are working on an air filter connected to our exhaust on our engine. Okay, this is a long way to come. On our air with a whole, filter. Yeah, with a whole bunch of folks uh, on a car. It's really a kind of a fun project, isn't it, for you? Mm -hmm. I can tell because everyone's smiling here. Everyone's having a good time. And, and what do you expect to get out of the weekend here? Out of the weekend, um, we're hoping to get higher fuel mileage than we've been able to get before and that we'll be able to place um, before 40. I'm on your finger. Well, congratulations. I hope the best for you and I hope your home team does a great job this weekend. Thank you. Okay. All the cars that are certified are certified inside Cobo Hall here before they race on the streets in downtown Detroit this weekend. One of the things that uh, quite interesting is to see how they get the driver inside this vehicle. Watch this.